Welcome everyone to another one of our Bullet Central Tech Central videos. Uh, we've been away for a while, but we've been doing some good stuff. We've been out shooting the national championships, which has been a lot of fun. But now it's back to work. This is going to be a quick little video. Um, we've got some tools here that's going to make the job a lot easier. You're going to need a 764 uh, Allen wrench, a small punch, maybe a little hammer if we've got to apply some force. Uh, I like to use a little, just a, a little reloading block. Um, to help uh, punch the pins out of the of the hanger so when you buy your bat ds or uh, three lug action it is uh, it's going to come with two hangers and these hangers will have little numbers on the sides it'll either be a, a 10 or 20 or a 0 30. at the moment i have the 0 30 in the action I'll explain a little bit what these numbers mean uh, the zero, when it's facing forward in the action, so the trigger hanger can be orientated in this position or likewise, the zero would mean that the trigger is as far forward as it can go, right? So you'd have the, the least amount of load on your firing pin. Um, and as you go, if you put the 10 forward, you'd be 10 thousandths of an inch back and if you put 20 forward 20 thousands back and 30 forward 30 thousands back so that's how that works and uh, the just to show you what the how the timing affects the action we're going to in, in this one we have 30 forward right and i've done this on purpose because i want to show you what cocking on closing looks and feels like so as we shut this action you'll see there's that jerk at the top and and in fact if i just point it to you that way you can see the entire action sort of rotate, rotates clockwise when you're shooting you don't want to have that almost violent action upsetting your rifle in the bags take the bolt out let's remove the hanger Now obviously you're going to be doing this while your action is bedded in the rifle. So as you can imagine, uh, you're going to have to come in through, you're going to have to remove the trigger guard and come in and you know make sure you remove those set screws. And I would take the entire um, setup out with the little set screws in place. It's a lot easier otherwise they fall inside there and become quite annoying. We've got to fish them out again. So let's put these set screws down. And as you can see, if I take this out here, right now I had 30 thousands pointing forward. So that gave me the maximum amount of cocking on closing with the two hangers provided. So I'm going to remove these two little pins, dial pins. In some cases, you may need to actually strike them fairly firmly to get rid of them. And here, I'm fortunate I can just push them out with this, with this punch. I remove the hanger and I'm going to turn it around so I now have zero forward. I could take the other one and move say maybe 10 forward or 20 forward but we're going to start off just with zero forward and see how that goes for us. Put the little dowels back in. So with zero forward, I'm going to put this back in the action. And just a little tip again, when this is in the rifle, I would put the little cap screws in place first, like I'm doing here, through the stock, into the action, and tighten them up. Doing it that way will avoid a lot of frustration. So now I have the trigger inserted, I flipped it around and I got zero forward and you'll notice now that when I close this it's a lot smoother. Now I can just feel it catching. Right? So if I had 10 forward I would get a lot, just a, just a little bit more um, cocking on closing but frankly the way this is right now is absolutely perfect for me. But timing is really important and one thing I will just say to you again is 
make sure that once you've set it at a comfortable point that your rifle still shoots well on the target because too little pinfall so remember the further forward we go with this trigger the less the pin is going to load the firing pin is going to load and too little can seriously detriment your accuracy so that's it for this week thank you for watching uh, if you have any additional questions uh, please go to our website uh, we've got an uh, increasing amount of information there and you're more than willing to call us as well we love helping you guys uh, if there's some additional topics you'd like us to cover please um, list you know list your comment below this video and we will see what we can do to maybe cover that thank you again for watching and we look forward to seeing you next week